Very well, welcome back to Let's Play the Toddler's Madcap Misadventures. Last time we completed the tutorial level and now it's time to go on to chapter 1. Behold the minivan of the future. Whoa. I combine modern technology with the aim to please ability of 15th century English butlers to produce a minivan that caters to your every need. Every seat is adjusted to your exact specifications. Barb and Jess, yours have massage capabilities. And for Zach, I know how much you like staring at the car behind us like a drooling dog, so yours faces backwards. It also has a cup holder. I bet that could hold a cup. Good thinking, Zach. And it does. All right, everybody in. Dad, you know this doesn't change the fact that we're going to the Alamo and it's guaranteed to be a train wreck just like all our vacations. Not this time, honey. I'm prepared for every possible disaster. Sunscreen, check. Band-aids, check. Duct tape, check. Jaws of life, check. Four-man fence, check. Portable generator, check. Backup checklist, check. That's enough checking, Barb. We don't want to miss the reenactment. And now for the best part. For our virtual host, I programmed a TV personality I hear is all the rage. Without further ado, please welcome Vance Shepard. Hey there, folks. Celebrity heartthrob Vance Shepard from TV's Beach Patrol. You hear that, guys? Vance Shepard of TV's Beach Patrol. You guys watch that show, right? Yeah, Dad. You really get us. An old canceled TV show. Canceled? We weren't canceled. The story had simply run its course. Face it, folks. You can only patrol a beach for so long before it's completely free of tough guys with no moral compass. Told me, Vance. Now let's go get to the family bonding and war reenacting. Next stop, the Alamo. Of course, the Alamo. I'll handle this. I know a shortcut. Buckle up, everyone, because you're in for a surprise. Whoa! Like the loading screen didn't spoil that at all. But we have to fly. I've never been inside the sky before. What did I get damaged for? Now everyone just relax and we should be at our destination in no time. Finally, my scene. Do your best to avoid the telephone poles and birds while picking up the items floating in the sky. Try and not scuff my pain too much. Yeah, you're gonna be flying in the car. Now, the first levels in the flying cars are easy, but later on they'll be a pain. You'll see. It's kind of complex. Okay. Now, there's only a few things you can do with the car. You're, you're free of movement. If you, stare, if you see a star falling from the sky, grab it. It will increase your health. If you see a star looking eerie and Oscar worthy, that's probably me. And I don't know if it tells us it probably will later on, but there is a, only one button that you can use while riding the car. Hopefully it will tell us. Look out for the, Greek, the gray clouds, you will lose control of the van if you drive into it. Yeah. Uh, the only button that you can use is the space button, it lets you boost the level. Basically boost the speed of everything. So yeah, feeling, fartable, feeling comfortable, try using the left mouse button or space bar to fly even faster. Yeah, but everything will move faster, I think. So, yeah. Now, in this level, there aren't gems or anything, but there are special items like this thing. And you have to get them all if you want to 100% the level. Okay, so let's move on. Ouch. Okay. Worth it. Worth it. Ugh. Because I got the item. Alright. Stupid birds. Get out of the way. Ouch. Alright, go, go, go. Get that. Oh, let's, let's collect the stars. They were pretty shelf. Okay, go, 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 go. Oh. Alright then. Let's throw those rings. Lifesaver rings, come on. Okay, got another one of those. Alright then. Whoop. Another one. Got another one there. Ouch. Good. Oh, wait, what? What did I get damage from? Did I touch an uh, environment or something? Probably rocks. And by the way, that portrait there had the face of the guy, so that's an extra life. Every time you find the face of a character you're controlling, that's an extra life. Uh oh. Because we just ran out of gas. Out of gas? We just had a full tank. Yeah, Barry, but do you know how much gas it took to make the beeping sound? Well, I go 100%. 22 out of 22. Okay, it's time for... See, see, it actually skips some level for you. 
we would have gone to this level, but apparently you need to complete the game first in order to unlock it. So yeah, let's just go to level 2, to chapter 2. Don't worry, everyone. I'm all right. Good. As long as you're okay. Vance, where are we? Well, my GPS was damaged in the landing, but I'm gonna go out on a limb and say... the barren desert. Surprise, surprise! Another train wreck. Don't worry, Jess. Your fearless fanny pack father is going to find us some gas. Honey, got any water in that emergency purse of yours? Purified spring or tap. Okay, in case I don't return. I want to apologize for your inevitable demise. Thanks, Barry. We love you. Love you, too. Jess, if I don't make it, I hope my funeral doesn't interfere with your party schedule. Just don't have it on the weekend. And Zach, while I'm gone, you're the man of the family. Grow a beard. I've always wanted to be the man of the family. Okay, I'm off. Bye, Dad. We love you. Okay, we're off. So... Now we're starting a more serious level. This is the first world, the desert, and it's not that complicated. There are only a few enemies. So what I'm looking for is that eagle that flies about here. So the problem is that enemies have gems inside them. And even this eagle might have an, an, a gems inside it. But the only way to get some these flying enemies is to get damaged by them and hopefully jump into them while you're blinking for the invulnerability frames. Because sometimes, most of the times, they don't have any gems in them, but sometimes they do, and that's annoying. I hope this isn't a mirage. Okay, let's jump over that. Whoa! Alright. Didn't see you there. Okay. You can die by going down there, but unfortunately, these... Uh, these webs will actually boost us up. For now, there are webs, but later on, there won't be any webs. Remember, you don't have to eat every enemy. Sometimes you can jump right over it and keep going. It's right here. No. I need to eat every enemy because they might have gold. They might have points in them. Huh! Come on, reach it. Reach that eagle. There we go. Most of the times I repeat eagles don't have anything, but sometimes they do. So yeah, I have to check. See the first aid kit up there? Well, that's your ticket to a long life. Picking these up will restore some of your health. Go ahead and try it. Alright, there we go. Okay. That was a... Uh, a chest, a treasure chest, you can just jump on it or hit it with your weapon to bang to open it. Item number two. By the way, every character attacks in a different way. We saw how Barbara attacked with the poor shoe. Now he attacks with the gas can. He does a spin attack if you attack once and then he does that that thing. I don't even know how to call it. So the spin attack cannot eat those um, scorpions, but it, the second attack does. So you need to keep that in mind if you want to eat enemies by attacking. These red books are checkpoints, be sure to touch them when you see them. That way if you fall into a hole and get mauled by a scorpion, you'll start from here rather than from the beginning of the level. Nice to know that. Bang. This is a, is a snake, they're really easy, you just have to jump on them a few times and they're gone. Alright then. Okay. First aid kit, restore some health. Uh, another of those eagles. Why are you going? Going back down? Good. I got that piece. See if I can get that eagle from here. There we go. Okay, one last piece to finish off this level. Another eagle. Do you have money with you, Eagle? Tell me! Tell me your secrets, Eagle! Aha! See? The Eagle did have money with it! That's what I was talking about. Okay, now the Scorpion! We're almost at the end of the level. And... There we go. Open this up! Good. This Eagle surely have money. 
Surely has it. Come on. Whoop! Bang. No, weird. Extra life, thank you. Alright then. Okay, come on. No, there you go, seriously. We're gonna get this one. Come on. Nah, nothing. Too bad. And there's the exit. Oh, they got everything. That was great. So yeah, I think that's enough for this time because, well, um, the, the game just keeps going and going and the desert is quite long, so we'll take our, we'll take our time through it. Anyway, next time on the Total Automatic Adventure, we'll go right into Chapter 3, March of the Mummies. See you guys then.